let's do the log equation worksheet. So when we're doing these, we like to combine, if we can, this log into a single log. So log base 5 of this plus the log base 5 of this. When it's plus, you multiply the arguments using the change of the addition, the product rule. It says the log of two things multiplied is the log of the first thing plus the log of the second thing that's multiplied in the same base. So these bases have to be the same. So this becomes the log base 5 of x plus 6 times x plus 2 equals 1. And then if you got a single log equal a number, you can change it from a log equation to a power equation. And that says if you got a to the, let's see, b to the a equals c, that changes to uh, log base b, same base, of c equals a. So we have something that looks like this, and so it becomes b to the a equals c. 5 to the 1 equals these two multiplied, which is x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 12. Subtracting 5 from both sides, and I get 0 equals x squared plus 8x. Uh, 5 from both sides makes this plus 7. That actually factors, or we can type it in the calculator and graph, or we can do quadratic formula. comes out to be x and x and plus 7 and plus 1 will make 8. And so x equals negative 7 will make this be 0. Or x equals negative 1. And then we always have to check our answers. And negative 7 plus 6 is a negative, and you can't do logs of negatives. You can't use this answer. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. That's positive. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive. So negative 1 works. And if you wanted to, you could actually type in log base 5 of minus 1 plus 6 plus log base 5 of minus 1 plus 2. And if you get 1, you've got the right answer. There's 1. Now this one, we've got subtraction. So this says ln of, that's a log, of when you subtract, it's the positive 1, x plus 6 over the one that's being subtracted, x minus 4. That's what this side would simplify to, and this side is ln x. So it's ln of both of them, so we can then say this must equal that. So x must equal x plus 6 over x minus 4. We can multiply both sides by x minus 4. These cancel. This is x squared minus 4x equals x plus 6. It's quadratic, so we've got to make it equal to 0. So we'll subtract x from both sides. And subtract 6 from both sides. And this happens to factor, or you can use a quadratic formula, or you can graph. It factors to x minus 6 and x plus 1. That will multiply to be negative 6. And we get minus x, minus 6x and plus 1x, which is minus 5x. So x would have to equal positive 6, or x would have to be minus 1. You can't do a log of minus 1, so this answer is gone. You can do it of 6, you can do it of 12, and you can do it of 6 minus 4, 2, you can do it of 2. So this is probably the correct answer. You can type in log of 6. You can type in log of 12 minus log of 2, and they should be equal. Okay.
we got the sum, but we have a number in front. So we take it up as a power. So we have log base 2 of x minus 1 to the third plus log base 2 of 4 equals 5. When it's plus, you multiply these. Or if you will, log, to what power to take 2 to get 4? This is just 2. So you can subtract 2 from both sides. But if you don't see that, you can say this is, um, when it's multiplied, you had you multiplied. So this would be 4 times x minus 1 to the third equals 5. And divide by 4, and x minus 1 to the third equals 5 fourths. Take the cube root, and you get x minus 1 equals the cube root of 5 fourths, or 1.25. And add 1, and you get x equals 1 plus cube root of 5 fourths. That's the exact answer. Or you can um, turn that into decimal. Now let's do it the other way. If we realize this was just 2, we could subtract 2, and that would be 3. So we'd have a log base 2 of x minus 1. And we could actually say, leave that 3 there and make this be 3. Divide both sides by 3, and we get log base 2. 2 of x minus 1. Oh, did I make a mistake? Oh, I forgot this was log, dang, log base 2. I did make a mistake. I should have checked, watched this carefully. Log of base 2 of this plus this would be 4 times this, base 2, so I have to change it to a power. So this is 2 to the 5th, which is 32 over 4. And 32 divided by 4 is 8. So, I made a mistake here. So if I take the cube root, the cube root of 8 is 2. So I get x minus 1 equals 2. Add 1 to both sides, we get x equals 3. Oh, I made a mistake for dropping the log there. I know that that's something students do, and I just did it. All right, going back to this. This and plus 2 equals 5. Subtract 2, and I get equals to 3. I can divide by 3, and this would equal 1. Change it to a power equation, and I get um, 2 to the 1 equals x minus 1. x minus 1 equals 2 to the 1, which is... 2, add 1 to both sides, and I get x equals 3. Same answer. Yeah, I saw that this was going to come out to be not that mess, and I realized I made a mistake over here. I apologize. It is late. All right, let's do this one. Subtracting, so we divide these two, and this is log base 10. So we got log of an understood base 10 of... 2x over x minus 3 equals 1. Changing to a power, this is 10 to the 1, or 10, equals 2x over x minus 3. Multiply by x minus 3. And I get 2x equals 10x minus 3. 30, and subtract 10x from both sides, and I get negative 8x equals negative 30, divide by negative 8, and I get x equals 30 over 8, both negative, so it makes it plus. And that's approximately, that goes in there, uh, 24 is 3, and 6 eighths or 3 three quarters or 3.75 3.75 times 2 works in this 3.75 minus 3 would be 0.75 that's positive so that works in there so this probably checks I could type 
log of 2 times 3 and 3 quarters minus log of 3 and 3 quarters minus 3, and I should get 1. Okay.